Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. How you feeling this morning? Thumbs up. Somewhere in the middle. Thumbs down. I am feeling thumbs up. I am so happy to be here with you today. Today we are talking we are talking about something that is in the sky in the nighttime. There are lots of songs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are lots of poems and even books written about them. One poem that comes to mind talks about when you see the first one in the sky, you have to make a wish. Do you know what it is? Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Did you figure it out? It's stars. If we look at our book of the day, the title is stars. What do you what do you see the little girl doing on the front cover? She's got a big basket in her hand and what is she doing? She's collecting the stars. Let's open this up and see what it's all about. Stars by Mary Lynn Ray. A star is how you know it's almost night. As soon as you see one, there's another and another, and the dark that comes doesn't feel so dark. What if you could have a star? They shine like little silver eggs you could gather in a basket, except you know you can't. Not really. But you can draw a star on shiny paper and cut around it. Then you can put it in your pocket. Having a star in your pocket is like having your best rock in your pocket, but different. Because a star is different than a rock. Pin a star on your shirt and you can be sheriff. Put a star on a stick and you've made a wand. If you hold a wand the right way, you might see a wish come true. Not always, only sometimes. You never know about a wish. You can give a star to a friend, but never give away the one you keep in your pocket. You need to know it is there. Some days you feel shiny as a star. If you've done something important, people may call you a star. But some days you don't feel shiny. Those days, it's good to reach for the one that's in your pocket. And if you ever lose your star, you can draw another, or you can find another one. There are places. Moss where you might see fairies is made of green stars. White stars in June grass become strawberries in July. Yellow stars on pumpkin vines become October pumpkins. Snowflakes are stars. Blow a ball of dandelion and you blow a thousand stars into the sky. A button can have a star on it. And if you always brush your teeth, someone might give you a red or green or blue or gold or silver star. There might be a star on the calendar to mark a special day. But stars that come with night, for those who have to wait for night, you need some dark to see them. It may help to have on some pajamas. Mm.
Looks like they're getting ready for bed. Then you look up. Almost always you will find one, and another, and another, and another. And if sometimes you can't see them, they're still there. What's happening? Why can't they see the stars? What are those? Every night, everywhere. What did you think about that story about stars? Do you want to rate it? Five being the best. Four, three, okay. Two, one. Miss Moore, you got to be kidding me. For an activity today, I challenge you to make your own star. You can simply just draw a star on a piece of paper, or you can find something shiny in your house that you want to be your star. For instance, I found these shiny gold heart stickers, and I think I'm just going to cut one out and use it as my star today. If you put your star in your pocket, you'll always know it's there. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.